Have you ever wondered how flowering plants reproduce? Well, today we're going to delve into that fascinating process. We're focusing on the formation of megasporangium and embryo sac, two crucial steps in the reproduction of flowering plants. First things first, let's clarify what these terms mean. The megasporangium, also known as the ovule, is the place in the plant where the female gametes or eggs are produced. On the other hand, the embryo sac is the female gametophyte that is formed from the megaspore and eventually develops into a seed after fertilization. Now let's dive into the process. It all begins in the ovule, where a cell is designated to become the megaspore mother cell. This cell undergoes a special type of division called meiosis. In this process, the megaspore mother cell divides to form four haploid cells. These are cells with half the number of chromosomes. Usually, three of these cells degenerate, leaving only one functional megaspore. This solitary megaspore then begins the process of becoming an embryo sac. It undergoes three rounds of mitosis, a type of cell division where a single cell divides into two identical daughter cells. After these rounds of mitosis, eight haploid nuclei are formed. These eight nuclei arrange themselves into a cellular structure consisting of seven cells, one egg cell, two synergids, three antipodal cells, and two polar nuclei, which reside in the large central cell. This structure is now known as the mature embryo sac, ready and waiting for a sperm cell to fertilize the egg. So, to summarize, the process starts in the megasporangium or ovule, where a megaspore mother cell is formed. This cell undergoes meiosis to produce four haploid cells, three of which degenerate, leaving one functional megaspore. This megaspore then undergoes mitosis to form eight haploid nuclei. These nuclei arrange themselves into seven cells forming the embryo sac, which is the female gametophyte in flowering plants. Understanding the formation of the megasporangium and embryo sac is crucial to understanding the reproduction of flowering plants. It's a complex process, but one that underpins the life cycle of the plants around us. So, the next time you see a bloom, Remember the intricate processes that brought it into existence. It's just another reminder of the wonders of biology.